All right. Here in Art and David Hofmeister, this time it's personal. <laughs> You've got us up here now. We're, we're right in front of you. <laughs> A rare appearance. <laughs> That's right. Uh, the last time that David and I did this together, uh, it was a, a good five or six years ago in uh, Edmonton, in Alberta, Canada. Was it uh, Sarah and Don's house? Yeah. Yeah, and, uh, it was fun. We just took questions for about three hours, mostly David. And uh, I just listened, but uh, this will be fun. So, anything you have on your mind, any questions uh, that you have, you know, we'll be happy to uh, give you our best answer. Do you have anything you'd like to say, or should we just go right into it? I think we'll just open it up. We're here to be transparent with this or anything that you want to. Christine, you have Oh, they have a roving mic, so we will be able to hear you in case the wind's flapping like that. Uh, we'll actually be able to hear your question, so that's beautiful. Okay. We're, we're all yours till 5 o'clock. <laughs> it would have been funny if nobody had any questions. Yeah, nobody have a question. I don't know. We're going to the beach if nobody have a question. <laughs> <laughs> I say let's go to the beach. <laughs> I have a question. Can we go to the beach? <laughs> Uh, I just wanted to say that uh, breaking into the small groups, David, was a, um, a really wonderful experience. Um, the group I was in was really fabulous, and I can't imagine the rest of them weren't, too, so thank you. Very much. Sergeant first has said that there are aliens and that they do visit the earth and that we should just think of them as being our brothers and sisters, the same as we think of anybody else. <coughs> so I definitely go along with that. I think we should just think of them that way. And uh, Arden first also said that uh, just because they may be more technologically advanced, it doesn't necessarily mean that they are more spiritually advanced. In some cases they may be, in some cases they may not be. Uh, you know, technological advancement is not always a sign of spiritual advancement. It's like uh, when human beings learned how to use atomic energy, what's the first thing they did with it? You know, they built a bomb. You know, so it doesn't always mean that just because you have a technological breakthrough that you're having a spiritual breakthrough. On the other hand, uh, there are aliens in spacecraft who use mind transport to instantly transport themselves anywhere that they want to be. Uh, they do things with uh, UFOs that are physically impossible, it would seem. If you tried to do that with a physical spacecraft, it would break apart because uh, it just couldn't take you know, the stress and the strain. But when you use mind transport, then you can go any place that you want instantaneously. In fact, that may be necessary because even if you could travel at the speed of light, it would still be impossible go from star to star to star because it's just too far. You know, 50 light years is 50 years. It's going to take you 50 years to get there, even at the speed of light. And the way that the aliens are able to accomplish that is by using mind uh, transport. Uh, you'll see in my third book that Arden Percy took me on a little tour 
around the universe, and one of the things I saw was a Palladian starship. And it looked as big as a planet. It, it was like huge. It was like just awe-inspiring. And I asked Arden the person what they were doing. And we weren't in bodies at that time. We, we did this little tour by way of the mine. And it's very interesting because they were showing me what they said was the in-between life. And uh, what happens then is you're not in a body, you don't have a body, not that we were ever in bodies to begin with, but it feels that way, it looks that way. And uh, it's like uh, you don't have to speak, you use mental telepathy to communicate, uh, you don't have to breathe, you know, there's, there's no lungs or nose to breathe with. And it's a totally different experience, it's really weird, but it's fun because you don't have the heaviness of a body, you know, so it's weightless. And it's really uh, kind of fun. The problem is, you know, it doesn't last as long as you have that unconscious guilt in your mind. Uh, it has to be healed or else you're going to just keep coming back because the real reason for coming here is to escape from that guilt. And uh, but when it's completely healed, then you don't come back because you don't need a body. And you don't need a world because the purpose of it is gone. But you'll see in that chapter that, um, you know, they took me on this whole tour of uh, the in-between life. Then we came back to work, ended up, uh, and what I recognize is Chicago, because I've been to Chicago, so when we were coming into the Midwest, you know, from outer space into the Midwest, uh, you know, I, I could see that we were ending up in that part of Lake Michigan, you know, where Chicago is. This is 100 years in the future. And uh, before you know, we're on top of this uh, operating room near the roof, near the ceiling, and we're looking at this woman, it looks like she's giving birth. And, uh, and this is where it gets weird. Uh, this woman, you know, she, she looks like she's giving birth. I said to Persa, who's that? And Persa said, that's our mother. You know, that you're being born again into your final lifetime. That's me. You know, so uh, I got to kind of like uh, be there around the time that uh, I was being born. But it goes into more detail in the book. I just wanted to point that out because Aliens, which is what your question was about, they use that mind to transport uh, to go any place that they want instantly. And that's how space travel will be accomplished in the future. I think even before that, uh, you remember Star Trek when they used to beam people up to the ship? That's actually a very likely way of space travel. Because you can get from here to the moon in three seconds if you could travel the speed of a radio wave, which is basically what they were doing. So, there's going to be a lot of interesting things that are going to come up, but ultimately mind transport uh, will be the way of the future.